Okay, so right off the bat, uh, copy and paste the Xbox 360 CE uh, to your where the executable file is located of your game. And once you have done that, make sure to delete the previous uh, DLL file or anything that is related to the uh, X360 application. Just hit the Xbox 360 and uh, just do the usual, the uh, setup. As you can see, uh, my controller is, my chip controller is synchronized with the, uh, with the Xbox 360, but, you know, the problem is when you starting to play the game and, you know, the sad part is when you, in the game, uh, the controller, the button doesn't match with uh, with the game. Like, for example, if I click the on the X button, but the game doesn't, you know, you get it. It doesn't match with what you uh, with, with your button. So the solution that I found is, you know, just quit the game and uh, click again on the 360 uh, application just open it up and go to the uh, help tab uh, once you're in there you will see this uh, X input uh, 1 to the LL X input 9 1 10 blah 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 and just copied uh, those uh, whatever that is and your go to your existing uh, DLL file just you know uh, rename it okay what I did is I rename uh, those file and once you have done that it's just really sim simple. Just hit the X button and uh, make sure to save it too, just in case. And this is where the magic happens. Uh, start your game and you will see this button is match what you click. So that's all. Uh, I'm not gonna make any more videos in the future, uh, unfortunately. Uh, this video is just to help you guys uh, solve the the problem uh, on the button.